people hiding hiding their piss. He made it yeah. with Paul Rudd. Oh, it's yeah. like you've done an exquisite job at, at hiding your. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm in the podcast room the other day with my buddy that I met at Temple. Hyde Shekelstein, Maury Shekelstein, a.k.a. Sam Hyde. It's me. Hey. Andrew Dice Clay. Liar Cohen. <laughs> the man who, if you say if you say his real name, he... Um, he shows up. Burns your career. Yeah, he shows up and then he destroys your career. He says, quote, I have mouths to feed. Yeah. That was his response when they caught him. When uh, Charlemagne was actually being an investigative reporter and edging in on him. Really? And he was like, I got mouths to feed. He like panicked just for a second. But I it was like, ah. Oh, wow. It was That's him being like, crazy. like if I was like, say I was stealing from you. Yeah. And you were like, say, like, catch me stealing. So we were looking at your books and we saw that you were uh, you were going in there pretty pretty deep with some greedy hands going to the cookie jar. <laughs> Come on, it's not what you think. I have mouths to feed. Nice. I was like, whoa, he's coming unbuckled. Good. It's crazy. But uh, then uh, I think Charlemagne probably got a tap and they were like, say that again and I'll outside mm -hmm. say one more word about that and i'm gonna there's gonna be a, a nine inch dagger in your right there's gonna be a the back uh, of your head some pair of gardening <laughs> shears you're gonna screw yourself with a with a flea market knife yeah with a rambo flea market knife mm -hmm. so this i stumbled upon this this is like i guess it's so you do hammer time no matter what <clears throat> or shoe shop god dude. What is this? I don't, I don't, I, it's like, it's like comics. Cosplaying? <coughs> How many fans does she have? That was kind of cute. I just don't, I think it's like, no. Like no. disguised as like, no. cute. I don't think it's graphic, Chris. Yeah, I mean, you, anything can be like this microphone could be if you wanted to come on it. Absolutely. <laughs> this chicken tikka masala could be mm -hmm. if you come on it. And this does have a little bit of a plausibility of it being. Now I missed the plot of this one, so let it play again. It's upskirt shoe shop. She's going to the shoe shop. No. More upskirt foot. F and uh, these f dick in the box joke. No. Four star. Now the salesman's oh. getting upset. No. She doesn't like him. Oh, no. She really doesn't like that one. Mm. So he's telling her to go away. It's pretty good. <clears throat> what does she do? Uh, I just don't. I'm trying to f get understand like the motivate. I don't. I don't know. This is a a comic book drawer. Got a girlfriend that he wanted to, needed a reason to draw her, so he turned it into a thing. She claims that she does the comics. Oh, then she was a. She's probably looking in the mirror. She's on the green. She's getting rained on, wet. Facial. She's running away. Facial. You see the drops are getting on her face. Yeah. Billiards. Yeah. Pool hall book party. Oh, now she's transferred. I think that's kind of that's kind of clever. Yeah, it, they're clever. They're very clever, but I, I'm. It's just ve it's it comes off as just like scary. You know, bizarre. I think it's just a return to classical entertainment. <laughs> okay. Because like a lot of the yeah. Like it the does look like she's used some sort of Adobe Photoshop liquify in her region. <laughs> on those Cleavage. pants, and her, yeah, and her too, yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, did that have a bit of liquify? That has, yeah, that, that has some liquify on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's okay. That's fine. I would use liquify on my if I was wearing those pants. I do use liquify on my when I wear pants. But then the common That's is a like bit of Sammy. That's your for your comic. <laughs> That's for my, yeah, a little bit of Sammy. The, the, we you should know, do that. Let me watch, like, let's watch this one again. I want to see what she does in this Sammy one. starts an outboard motor. <laughs> is the uh, music attached to the yes, shit? Yes, yeah, Okay. Yeah. So this is hammer time. So the thing falls down. Oops. I put the hammer through there. Bam. Bashing the wall apart. Oh, Whoopsie. She's outside now. Global. Yeah. She's got to put some... Oh, oh. And, uh, oh, she put the picture over I the hole. I think that's clever. I think that's yeah. pretty That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. I bet you I don't are. see any problem with this. I'm sorry, Chris. I, I think you're in the wrong. You know that 90% of the audience, other than, uh, is probably just like, yeah, well, she fucking takes the hammer and sticks it up. up. Like, yeah. this is very clearly. Clearly, uh, just a cartoon. Oh, threesome. She's like, do you guys want to swing? I'll Where's eat your girl's her yeah. Where's her, her man? Aww. 
Come on, one time. I'll climb a hill. She's super liquefied. Echo point. Oh, I get it. I think this is quite this is quite a bit above the the bar for female content creation. I agree. I agree. And I it's agree. A, it's also got a classic flavor that I admire. Now I don't watch, but if I did, there's g females uh, on beds across the world for mm. seemingly free. Uh huh. This does not look like that. This is this one's clever. Yeah, I don't want to lower myself by watching some skank. I want a classic dame. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know, in movies they used to talk about dames. That's a dame. I want yeah. a dame. She's got a cute button <clears throat> nose, and she's got a bob haircut, right from my childhood. <coughs> now, what if we go to a bit of toddy.com? What happens there? Let's because see. I don't. I kind of. I, she's rimming a uh, like a Tim Dillon lookalike. And not to be, but I'm not sure. I believe that um, this is a female-led endeavor. Because it does seem quite uh, clever. I hope it's fucking filthy. That would be so got, funny. Buy me a coffee. Follow me on Twitter. What's on her Twitter? What's she got on Twitter? <laughs> 2% of the people. Could. <laughs> 200 followers. Wow. She's new to this, the game. <clears throat> so you're an early adapter. Yeah. It's an early adapter. No. Right here. She's got her dust buddy. Now, someone is taking that picture. Can we zoom into the reflection of her eyes? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. What happens if you scroll down there? What else we got? It's Batman night. Okay. That's it. Wow. I wish well, my brain was that cool. So, I think it's classic content. Can you go to YouTube and type in um, Nero Wolf? N E R O space. W O L F E, and then don't hit enter after you type that. <coughs> and get rid of that drop down menu. What else is on the screen here? What thumbnails being covered up? Zulu, Maiden Virgin Dance, It Shit She. Okay, skip that. What's the Bugs Bunny? Can you just open the Bugs Bunny Challenge Top 30? Yeah, it's like. Just uh, real quick. Man. So if this was suggested, does that mean uh <clears throat> someone in the office is watching? Doesn't mean anything, Chris. <laughs> now my favorite thing to think about when you think of compilations of uh, low level close. like this, I really th I've been thinking about this lately. It's going to have um th this is going to be the new emo. What? Girls who did for like a short amount of time. Well, that's the new emo. It's the new emo, I yep. think. You know what I mean? Yes. It's the new cutter. Sure. They're going to like, it's going to stop. Mm -hmm. Like there'll be like a, like a sm slight return. They'll, they'll just realize that it's not what it used to be. It doesn't pay out. And then it'll come back like Uber or like YouTube. Yeah. Remember like YouTube was like, whoa, then nothing, then, then back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uber, same thing. Uber yeah. came out. It was like, eh. Then it was like the biggest thing ever for 10 years. Yeah. And now it's just a mainstay. <clears throat> um, come out. I think like now within the phase it's going into the gray area mm -hmm. and a lot of chicks are going to be like, yeah, I made eighty grand a month one month three years ago, mm -hmm. and then I made like a lot, like a lot of six thousand a month, and then a lot of people in my hometown saw my, right, and then a lot of my other friends did it because they heard about my money, and then the water the, there was too many, there's too much pee in the pool, yeah, and then I got a urinary tract infection, yeah, and then I got fifty five thousand prostitution offers, and that fucked with my psyche a little bit because when people ask to pay you, it has a hit. Because Especially, I've been personally asked to pay for, I've been asked to jerk off on camera for fifteen hundred dollars right. before at a bar, right? And I obviously the, the immediate reaction is like, "Holy shit, I can't believe this happened!" But it hurt my feelings. You know, it's terrible. It's weird. Yeah, you're like, "What the fuck did I put out there?" Yeah, but whatever. If I put myself out there, I'd expect it. Especially if they come at you and they're not speaking English, right? Because I think that's what that Spanish lady was saying to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that Guatemalan woman that walked up to me was like, "Tu quieres chimar tu penga en camera por cincuenta mil dólares?" Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure she just asked me to crank my yep for fifteen hundred. I was selling a car for the same amount of money at the same time, but I don't know. I think she was trying to f me. Yeah, exactly. There's um, a lot of uh, girl content suggested, like porn. Yeah, I think. Well, I think because I've been looking at um, <clears throat> Patty. Uh, 
uh, a bit of toddy. Little Patty Mayo, the lifter. This is just a small taste of some of the designs you'll be seeing later on. So be prepared. This is my next outfit. You may notice that the rear end is rather exaggerated. I think for too long there's been emphasis on the shoulders. My idea is to reverse everything, turn it upside down, emphasize your backside and perhaps even your hips. That's my tip for 86. Also, take note of the checkerboard. Geometry will be a big number next year. Don't be alarmed, viewers. This isn't a rerun of Star Trek. In fact, it's my living room wallpaper. However, we're still in the realm of imagination. Which brings me to my next outfit. This is my pale green angel outfit. Entitled for quite obvious reasons. Perhaps I should mention my makeup. My makeup, my accessories, and even my shoes are an integral part of my total look. One really couldn't exist without the other. They all go to make up a rather bold impression. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. Was that from? That's from RISD. Oh. Who's that guy? Look up Lee Bowery. Yeah. I was like, this guy's got to be the stylist for uh, Michael Ailig and the gang. Mm. Could we get Michael Ailig or did he die? Oh. Didn't he get out of prison like a couple of years ago? Jeez. Wow. He's, uh, I've never heard of this guy. Trojan. Let's see the uh, images. Australian Crazy. Performance artist and promoter. <clears throat> Boy George. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boy George. Culture Club. Right? Mm hmm. Alexander McQueen. Werner Peckwick. Interesting. Uh, That's what I was. I, I was checking that out last week. It looks like Vincent D'Onofrio in um, the the Cell. The Cell, yeah. I love the Cell. What a cool movie. The Cell was a cool movie. Like like the Cell got like clout, right? Like it, people liked it. I don't. I don't think. So. I don't think it was like a. People people don't look back on it like in a, like a landmark film or anything like that. But it was good. It was good. <clears throat> it was real good. Mm. I think I've seen it on like a TikTok underrated list. Yeah, it's def it's underrated for sure. Like a, like a sleeper, but I was like, oh, I thought that movie made like, wasn't Jennifer Lopez in it? Yeah, she was. I was when Jennifer Lopez was good. I wonder if Jennifer Lopez is cool somehow. You 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 do wonder. It makes you wonder. Yo, she's got five hundred million dollars. Yeah. She owns the Miami fucking uh, Marlins mm -hmm. or the Miami Dolphins or something. Mm. You want to hear a cool story? Yeah. Remember the Macan I leased? Mm -hmm. Engines blown in it. What? Brand new Macan, three weeks old. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. How'd that happen? What happened? What'd they say? I don't know. The fucking matter. car broke. Yeah, I might have been driving it. That's that's funny. So it's warrantied, obviously, because of the lease. Yeah. And I was like, you're getting a motor job on a Macan? Yeah. On a new Macan warranty motor job? Yeah. Now, as a service writer, that's a molly wop <coughs> commission. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, dude, it's like a $35,000 commissionable job. Yeah. Where's my Cayenne? Yeah. He's like, all right. Really? <laughs> yeah. I got a Cayenne coupe. You got a Cayenne yeah. loaner? A $100,000 Cayenne coupe loaner for three months. Oh, baby. Yeah. That's awesome. And I, I almost went back there, took my keys, and threw them over the fence. I was this close. I was like, and I said that. I, I showed Eric, my old boss. Yeah. I was like, dude, they gave me a fucking Cayenne coupe. Yeah. Like navy blue with wheels. Like, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, I'm like, fat. That's awesome. It was awesome. I was like, damn, that's kind of like a move. Like, buying yeah. a shitty car at a nice... Like yeah, buying yeah. a shitty Ferrari and then be like, <coughs> I need a Ferrari to drive. It's all I drive is Ferrari. Yeah. And they're like, ah, oh, you have an F40 loaner. <laughs> it's really funny. But it was stupid. I was like, this is, I was like, you have to, I mean, the kid knew, like, it was like the business, like, dude, you're getting a fatty commission. Yeah. I could have brought this to Westwood. Yeah. I could have brought it. Then the kid would have given me a doper Cayenne. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, no, I got you. I got you. Yeah. I was like, all right, cool. That's awesome. He's like, all right, here you go. See you in two, three months. I was like, Six. Fuck now you. I have to call Porsche and yell at them yeah. about trying to murder my my child. Because uh -huh. clearly they tried to murder my child. That's what they were. That's their intention. I drive. I I am a piece of trash from a small town. I finally made a buck and I went to go buy my dream car, a Porsche Macan. Yeah. And then I finally get there and it blows. <laughs> the engine blows while my wife and child are in it. Bings, uh, whistles, and you're trying to make me pay for a car that I don't even own. That's a, that's a lawsuit. I, my lawyer said I couldn't hear him because he was laughing and screaming so hard. When I called my lawyer to tell him about the case, mm -hmm. he said, not only is it definite, 
I literally, he put the phone down for a second and he was screaming on the other line to his wife to pack the bags. They're going to Paris for a month after this one. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest case he's ever seen. I have 10 other attorneys that want to get down on it because it's that much money that we're going to get from you, apparently, over this car, this deal. Yeah. So what did he, they say? No, he's here now. He got here and uh, honestly, God, it was a, it's 21 minutes he got here from from Providence to Situate. Yeah, and he's in my living room right now, drinking a pot of coffee with 10 people, and they're just printing out papers everywhere. They've got a whole like file. This is weird filing system they brought with them. Apparently, there's an engineer here from Porsche that worked <clears> in the plant that you guys just opened in Alabama, building these things. Yeah, uh, in Atlanta, rather, mm-hmm. where you guys build these cars. Um, he's here talking about some faulty defects on the KUKA robots that you guys were using during the manufacturing of the first generation new body style Macans that you just tried to sell me. Right, well there's a gasket that's almost the exact same size as the Macan Turbo gasket, uh, but they're not interchangeable. And people on the floor knew that, they said that to higher ups, the higher ups uh, took a look at the two two gaskets, looks the same, must be the same. Are you a a, a, uh, gemologist? Mm Mm-hmm. Do you know about diamond gaskets? They took out macronom. They had all these macronomers, and they yeah. had gaskets in cross sections of the plant. Pictures yeah, of you, where. Tell the- you what, run it through a mass spectrometer for me, and let me know what the readout says, and then we can say that they're the same. Or you can look into your emails from three months ago. Either way, because if you didn't do that, what's going to happen next means that you're gonna. <laughs> I'm getting free cayenne loaner. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm asking for is more loaner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've agreed. I get way more loaner. You, you get a you get a loaner for three years. <laughs> that 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 happens, you know. Yeah. There's a people like uh lazy uh like service writers. There was mm-hmm. a kid that worked for me that had a fucking the guy had a loaner for a year and a half. He was fixing like uh like Ben C class. Oh, baby, like in baby. The, like Ben C class is a 14. It's a nice car. Yeah. But like. It's 10 years old. The guy's driving around in a fucking $50,000 GLE. Wow. For a year and a half. Yeah. They're like, where's this car? Yeah, yeah. And it's with like, hey, well, I didn't know you guys ever called me. Oh, my God. Imagine yeah, driving I that. Like, that. It's the I fucking best that. thing ever, dude. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> it's, the, it's, the, it's a hit. That's one of those. That's just, that's one of the, just the best things about life is, um, have you, you ever dated a rich girl? Once. Like when 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 like you have a girlfriend that like will buy you presents and stuff and like your family's I've like rich. Never had yeah. that. Ever. Really? Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Stuff like that. That's cool. Like life gives you, you know, life doesn't give you lemons. It gives you, a, it's a it gives you an iPod mango smoothie with the iPod. Yeah, you know? North Face jacket. Yeah, North. Yeah, life gave me North Face jacket, mango smoothie, and um, infinite credit card. Ugg boots. What's the best <laughs> girlfriend gift you ever got? Um. Not I never got any I never got any good gifts, but I just I did date this one girl that was um uh her family was pretty pretty well off. It wasn't even a rich girl, but it was just like nice to have that, you know. Yeah. yeah. They have cool shit. Yeah. Uh, I got I had this I dated this Italian girl. She uh she got me like she like laced me out like a like a stripper one day. Mm-hmm. Like I got like a North Face jacket and an iPod. Damn. Like a a That's GPS. Sick. Oh baby. Like she she like just like and it was like nice. It was like a black North Face. Yeah. Uh, Tom Tom. Th- yeah, like a Tom Tom, literally a Tom Tom. Uh, and I was like, damn, damn, this is fat. I was that, like twenty. That's great. 